Money Digital. This the life we chose. Money, cars, and clothes. Taking trips oh to my. different places, living like we supposed to. I've been on the road. Edit. She out of control. Niggas say they're getting kicked, but they ain't even close. I'm just focused on what I'm getting. I ain't worried about what I don't got. Shout to Leafa, man. The series is gonna be a, you know, like a self-improvement yeah. series, not only in gaming, but in life in general, and movement forward yeah. as an individual, getting all aspects of my life to move forward in the direction that I want will allow me to perform better in-game. Yeah. Alright, so, it is five days out from the next Cash Cup. Excuse me for looking like I just woke up, I basically did. I got work at 9, so I have to leave here in an hour. So that means realistically I have like 40 minutes maybe of being in-game. I want to get back to playing like I was playing last season. Season 10, I started to really, really perform in these cash cups, getting top 300 consistently. This season I've gotten top. This season I think I got top 300 once, but a lot of the cash cups I didn't perform at all. Oh man, I still feel sick. I'm gonna hop on here, build, aim, train, and then do some pubs. Like I said, it's five days away from the next cash cup and the platform cash cup. And we're nine hours away from the next solo hype night. I'm gonna be working four out of the five days leading up to this next cash cup. So I'm gonna try to squeeze in as much warm up and practice time as I can. So I'm gonna stop rambling. I'm gonna just, I'm gonna start playing, use my time and game wisely. So we just finished our last game for the Hype Night Tournament tonight. Off of five games, we got 25 points, so we're top 7% right now, which is pretty good. I mean, that's a decent bit of points that we're going to earn from that. We got one second place game with seven kills. We got a 24th uh, place with three kills and a 16th with two kills. A lot of times, I kept dying because I have high ping, like straight up. Like, I'm going to be one of those people that says that, like straight up. I got burst rifled through some of my walls because I have high ping, and I got RPG through my walls. People are just able to slip stuff through my builds because I average, you know, 50 ping, about, just about, sometimes 60 ping. So, I'm going to be one of those people and blame it on ping today. All right. It is currently 11.58 p.m. Last time you saw me was from my clip this morning before work at about 7 a.m.-ish. So, you know, it's the end of the day. So we had the solo hype night, as you saw from the Instagram stories. Really bummed that I only got to play 40 minutes of it. But, I mean, it is what it is, you know. Got home from work and got on as soon as I could. I actually felt like I was playing decently well. Died to some frustrating stuff, but it was okay. Um, but tomorrow I have work as well. Like I said, I have work basically every day leading up to this next tournament. But played some pubs with Squishy earlier and we killed it, man. It felt great. Turn on my light right here real quick. This is gonna be a good lead up to sort of vlog series that I wanna do about trying to become really good in competitive Fortnite. I've seen results. I've been top, I mean, I've placed top 200 multiple times. I mean, that's the top 1% of players, but I wanna be the 1% of the 1%. I wanna get really up there and start winning money, seeing things happen, you know? I still think it's possible to win a cash cup on 60 ping, bro. I think it's possible. Do you have a disadvantage with high ping? Yes. But it's possible. Anything can happen, man. You play well enough, position yourself well enough, take fights smart enough. It's possible. What I want to do. want to win. This series is going to be a, you know, like a self-improvement series. Not only in gaming, but in life in general. And movement forward as an individual. Getting all aspects of my life to move forward in the direction that I want. Will allow me to perform better in-game. more time you can spend in-game, the better. Right? You know? But is there a limit to that? Is there a cap to that? If you're spending 14, 12 hours a day, like, gaming having unhealthy posture, unhealthy eating habits, unhealthy, staying dehydrated, not getting physical exercise. Yes, you're spending tons of time in game and you have great game sense and all that, but would you perform better per se if you cut your time in game down a little bit and focused on actually being healthy in real life too? In my head, I'm thinking you would perform better in game. Sacrifice a little time in game and work outside IRL, become healthier outside. Would that not improve you in game? I kind of think it would. I'm, we're gonna, I'm gonna run this experiment. We're gonna figure it out. So this 
this is tournament getting ready for this cash cup tournament this is gonna be the intro to this we're gonna uh, get this going all right here we go back in this seat it's 1208 all right i gotta leave here at 2 30 to go to work getting a late start i set my alarm for six woke up at six got up poured some coffee set the coffee on my desk sat in my bed and fell back asleep i still don't feel great holy as you can tell so i decided to get some more sleep before work but we're gonna hop on we're gonna warm up we're gonna get some time in game played so that way we can stay warm and try to stay a little consistent so be booting up right now right now let's get it no these guys are some fucking sweats got one The other guy's white. Oh, the RPG. Nice guy on us is dead. Wow, he fucking... Whoa, he bopped me. GG's. GG's, boys. So, played for a little bit. Uh, didn't do any aim training today, but still had some good games. Got a dub, hitting shots, feeling good. So that is some good progress. Uh, so I gotta get ready, I gotta go to work. Gonna be back late tonight, maybe hop on, play a little more. We'll see, we'll play it by ear. I'll keep you guys updated. One in the morning, I think. Yeah, it's 1.20 in the morning. I got home from work at about, probably around 11. Just hanging out, relaxing. Ate a bunch of food, cause I was fucking starving. Then hopped in creative and just absolutely cranked for 45 minutes, probably, maybe longer. I needed it. I mean, it felt good to sit there and crank, you know? Just practicing a bunch of builds, new builds, new retakes, old retakes, just practicing being real quick. And hopped into a pub and just slayed out off drop. Had five kills, cleared the entire Holly Hedges where I was at. Was hitting every single shot. Couldn't get any shields, but I mean, I was just, it was great. I was hitting every shot, dude. I was just slaying out. Anyway, we're gonna grind as much as we can over these next four days. Ooh, something that real good. I finally got an email back. That's awesome. I've been wanting to get a gym membership so bad for a long time. I want to go back consistently. We're gonna do it. We're, I'm just gonna do it. Even if I have to pay almost 40 bucks a month, I think it'll be worth it. So, 120 in the morning, boys. I need to wrap this up. I need to hop in bed and get up at a decent time. I will update you guys tomorrow at morning, all right? We'll catch y'all soon. I set my alarm for 8 a.m. Woke up at 8 a.m., but also went right back to bed at 8.01. <laughs> it's now 11.40. I gotta leave here at 1.30 minimum, so I don't have much play time. I got, like, maybe two hours. <sighs> I keep doing that, bro. So I'm gonna crank and creative to a pub, so I'm like, that but as long as we're spending a little bit of time in game today before i leave for work i'm happy about that so let's go <clears throat> so i think day today's day three i don't remember bad fucking vlogger bro holy i'm at home relax had a couple beers not gonna lie hopped on then creative like i said and then i decided to wager playlism parallel pl excuse me parallel plalism as he likes to say it. it's plalism wagered parallel plalism got my cheeks clapped 3 0 twice in a row GG's, bro. GG's, homie. Why you gotta make me look so lost, man? Damn it, GG's bro.
Did you tell me? Dude, when I was playing at my best, I could at least kill him once, all right? And now he's playing even better than he was back then, and I can't kill him once. I did a little bit of VOD review against my wagers with him, which was interesting. I'm glad I did that. It gave me some insight. I leave myself unprotected doing retakes all the time. Not smooth under pressure right now on the, on the 1v1s. And I leave my head unprotected where they can get easy shots on me. I need to learn how to do infinite 90s better, because I can do them, but they're sloppy. But it was good insight. Again, it is one in the morning, so I'm gonna go to bed. I'm tired. Get up in the morning, do it again. Let's grind some more. Oh, there's the update, boys. And tomorrow I want to email that the person who owns the gym near me. I want to get that membership started. I want to start going to the gym this week. Today it is now nearly 8 p.m. Okay, so I haven't updated in a while. Holy, holding my arm like this hurts. So I got up this morning late. Actually, I got up this afternoon. Woke up and was not feeling good. I had a had a sore throat and cough and sneeze for like over a week. And it actually went pretty much started to go away. And then this morning when I woke up, it was worse. So I wasn't really feeling good. And I had a little bit of a headache. I hopped on Fortnite, cranked and created for a while today. Played Played like one pub, didn't really play a whole lot because I was looking and trying to figure out another step of all this series that I want to do, which is getting a gym membership and working out consistently. Emailed a bunch of gyms, got in contact with people trying to figure out costs of memberships. I went actually to a gym that's pretty close to here, got a trial membership before I actually sign up and commit to a full year contract and worked out today. So I feel I'm sore right now. It, feel, it feels good to be sore though, you know? So I took a step, you know, check out the gym. Tomorrow I'm going to go to another gym that's pretty close by. I have to leave here in about an hour to go to work to go do inventory tonight and i'll be back late after that but i am going to take a few minutes while i have it to crank and creative play a little bit um just take advantage of the moment while i can and hop in the game get as much time in game as possible i really need to get this nutrition stuff down too i mean in the past i've meal prepped juiced fruit and vegetables smoothies every day cooking at home multiple hours a day i've done it all before so i know i have it in me it's just, it is it, it takes discipline it's hard to do so i'm gonna stop wasting time recording here i'm I'm gonna hop in game. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm gonna play a little bit as much, spend as much time in game as I can. You can see here, Fortnite's booting up. We're gonna hop in, play. I'm gonna get ready for work, go to work, and then get back here after that. And then I will keep you guys updated, all right? Let's go. Yesterday I did not record any of the vlog like this, but I did record gameplay of me warming up. Yesterday was one of the best days in game that I've had in a while. Got some really good 1v1s in. Found somebody on a Discord server who was actually really challenging to 1v1, which was great. It's about 1.40 right now I'm hopping on. Tournament starts at five. I don't want to start too early warming up because I can burn out more quickly than I used to. I don't have the same endurance that I used to have because I used to be playing all day every day. I did go to the gym today and worked out, for, so I feel real good. I just got back not long ago actually. So now I'm going to hop on here on Fortnite. I haven't played it all yet today. I'm going to get on here, warm up, get ready for this tournament, and hopefully we'll see how we can do. I think I'm going to try to play a little more aggressive today, more so than usual, and we'll see how it goes. <sighs> it's probably about three hours before the tournament starts. It's probably been about 20 minutes since I updated you guys last. I've been a creative, and I've been getting like a 25% packet loss. So, I don't know what that means for the tournament later. Probably not good. Bro, why today? We got 10 minutes, just about, probably like 8 minutes now till this tournament starts. Just grilled a burger, made mac and cheese, cooked it all, ate it all. I should have vlogged it while I was making it all, but I didn't. But we're gonna hop in creative, crank for just a minute, and then we're hopping in this tournament and we're getting it. So, uh, I'm excited. Wanna get in this tournament, I'm pumped. Hopefully we do well today. I'm gonna try to be a little bit more aggressive than usual but play smart at the same time we'll see how it goes boys i'm gonna record it and hopefully that doesn't cause me any issues hopefully my internet stays stable we'll see how it goes all right let's get it Bro, this game is so stupid, bro. Like, what? What kind of- How is this zone even allowed? 
So, tournament is over, boys. I did really bad on NA East, I'm not gonna lie. I W keyed a lot. Played more aggressive than I usually do, and the problem is with that is I'm not playing at my best. At least I don't feel like I am, you know? I've said it multiple times throughout this that last season and the season before is when I feel like I was really playing at my best, because that's when I was consistently getting top 300, getting top 200 a few times, uh, cons very consistently top 500. It was just, I felt like, playing much stronger than I am now. and was able to play more aggressive. So I tried to play aggressive on NA East and it bit me in the ass. Now I did play NA West as well because, you know, I was a little bummed about it. And then I did much better on NA West, nearly doubled my points because I actually went for placement instead of just W King. So I got less kills, but way more placement. But what was consistent through both was missing simple shots that caused me deaths. Really just, just choking on simple things that if I was playing more, I wouldn't. I just kind of a bummer but it is what it is you know i want to put more time into the game but this is good I, I i made progress here i've vlogged multiple days leading up to the tournament i've gone to the gym been trying to eat significantly more so that way i can actually you know make use of going to the gym now one thing i need to work on is getting some actual sleep getting enough sufficient rest you know for going to the gym and all that but i've got a lot of footage now because i recorded the entirety of na east and na west so now i have tons of clips i can get which is good um i need to go through old Twitch streams, which the stuff is gonna delete itself. VODs are gonna delete automatically if I don't go through them, so I know I need to do that. See, that's the thing. It's like I'm torn between playing and editing and this and that, going to the gym, doing this, blah, blah, blah. It's like I gotta find the balance. Time that I'm playing to get better at the game, I should be spending in creating content. But then when I'm creating content, I should be spending that time playing and trying to get better. Or at least that's how I feel. It's like, it's weird, man. I just gotta get a balance. I think really what it's gonna take is cutting out absolutely everything and doing those things that I know will push me to the next level. I think that's it. I really do. Um, but I'll put my rank on screen for NA East. And then I'll also put my rank on screen for NA West. But yeah, so, you know. Here we go, vlog number one, starting this eSports journey. I mean, really, it's been a long time coming. We're trying to play competitively in Fortnite and getting good at the game, getting to the level I'm at now. But now I think it's really time to start grinding again and get really back to the level I was, which means I need to start doing consistent daily, multiple hours of 1v1s in creative, in box fights and all of it like I was. Because that's really when you start to see yourself hit more shots. That's really when you see that extra boost. Being more consistent is when you're spending more time in game, in the those situations that you're gonna be in while you're actually playing right and competing funny how that works my less time in creative less time in box fights less time in aim training my performance isn't as good so you know it goes hand in hand less time in game not performing as well as you would imagine so I'm gonna wrap this up right here guys if you watched all the way through this vlog and you want to see more and see me go through this journey of trying to become more physically fit better in game just this journey of I want to become a better esports player more competitive player like I, I really dude I want this so bad like i really do i think this is i think this is gonna be a really if i stay consistent with this this is gonna be i think this could be something really cool you know if you guys want to come with me on this journey make sure you hit that sub button and if you guys enjoyed the video hit that like button let me know and um i'm gonna wrap it up right here again appreciate you guys watching my name is clay and i will catch you guys in the next video